Hello everybody, this is General Snivy and welcome back to more Let's Play The Last Remnant. Today, we're going to be binding this here Ark Remnant, and we're going to be heading out to the Sacred Lands once more. Oh yeah, go for it, sis. You have been the star of this here dungeon for like the past two or three videos now. Let's see if we can keep this stardom going. And with that, we are back once again for the final time at the Sacred Lands. Also, you can go back at any time just by re-examining this thing. But why would you want to go back now? Seriously. The only reason you would want to go back is to restock on items. But you have to go all the way through the 6th path and the 7th path again in order to get back here. So, yeah. I feel like I'm still healthy as far as items are concerned and yeah i'm ready for this i'm ready to end this once and for all here we go the final trip into the sacred lands it is time ladies and gentlemen for the final main dungeon sacred lands trip number three the final trip and the last main dungeon Unlike the past two trips of the Sacred Lands, this part of the Sacred Lands not only offers switches and stuff just like the others have, but it's also going to be infested with monsters. And it's going to be quite an interesting fight. There are several rare monsters here and other monsters that just want to ruin your day, but we'll fight them as we encounter them. I've also read on the last Remnant Wiki, but... Blah, what am I trying to say? I've read on the last Remnant Wiki that there is a known glitch in the PC version that... Well, actually, I'll get back to that in a minute because we got Evil Hypnos again! Alright, time to get back into the discussion. Well, more or less, I'll get back to that in a second because I got a new weapon. It's a Quincy... It's a certain species-specific weapon, and it's another extremely rare weapon, which I cannot equip. That makes me sad. Now to really get back into the discussion, as long as I don't run into any other annoying monsters. Like I was trying to say before, this dungeon in particular in the PC version has a strange glitch within it, and I'll explain more about that in a moment. Hey, looky, looky, a rare monster, I think. No, it's not. It's a greater demon. Never mind. Okay. Thankfully, there are no more other monsters around. And now let's talk about this well-known glitch in this particular area in this dungeon. In the PC version, this is a PC exclusive glitch. Some rare monsters are actually invisible in this dungeon. However, you can still target them via time shift. Like I was trying to say before, certain rare monsters are invisible and you can target, still target them via... Oh, Demon Blade! Sweet! I've been waiting to get my hands on this thing. I think that's for that witch character who we've recently recruited. Hmm. Now you may be wondering, how would we be able to undo this said glitch if we happen to run into it? Well, it's a very simple thing to do, and that is just to simply save the game, exit, and reload it. And what is that? Okay, Rare Bird! I think we can walk past it if we wanted to, but I'm going to fight it just for variety's sake. And they'll make things more interesting. Especially for the sheer fact that this is like the final moments of the game. Attacking from afar seems to be a good idea. Recover your health and begin. Come, come indeed. Come and get me, you stupid bird. And you got me indeed. Who oh dear. Got me with a nice curse. Well, guess what? Have a nice quad slice, mystic missile, and a nice smash, another attack, and some mixed messages. 
right after this. Uh, excuse me. Oh yeah, that definitely helped out a lot. Definitely did. Completely maxed out on morale, that's what I like to see. And I love seeing that the stupid bird is now silenced. So that should cancel out Curse, right? Yes, yes it does, good. That's what I like to see. Is there anything I need to say about this bird? Well, no, there really isn't. It's just a uh, evil bird. It casts curse at the beginning of the fight. Very annoying, sure, but you can deal with it, no problem. Mild direct, sure. Give it a taste of its own medicine after this nice little Omni Strike, of course. And it looks like it's going to be using Bee Witch in a second. Let's just hope it doesn't... Oh, wait. That's right. Rush has the Ragnarok, so the Entrail effect isn't going to happen. What am I worried about? It's just going to deal severe damage. Haha, <laughs> told ya. Good dodge, man. Good dodge. Okay, thank god it didn't kill him. I would have been pissed if that curse ended up killing Torgal before he launches his special attack. Shut up, Darren. I know what you're doing. And you're doing the right thing. Keep it up. Damn it, Maddox! Why are you only dealing single digit damage? What happened to you? It seems he's only able to do, like, quad digit plus damage when, I, I don't know, he's using a mystic art or something, or a combat art. Not sure why, but that's the way it is, apparently. Because the game just loves throwing handicaps my way. But that's fine. I don't really care. I like challenge, but not the to the extreme of the Fallen or the Lost or anything like that, but still, I like a challenge. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna wanna finish our attacking round before Tectexia is launched. Just like that. Good work. Hm. Okay, no problem. Is it gonna use Tectexia again? No, it's gonna use Acid Breath. Let's just hope it doesn't kill anyone. Ooh. Wow, severe damage to Torgal's team, but that's... Oh, damn you! How dare you kill Arena again! You can't kill Arena! Only I can kill Arena! And Arena's been good to me today. So how dare you? How frickin' dare you? Take this spear and shove it up your ass, you stupid bird. Can we please kill this stupid bird so we can move on with our lives yet again? Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna finish them as soon as possible. Especially after a nice Omni Strike and another move to revenge. Oh yeah, good hit. Up the freaking ass. Oh dear, here comes White Breath. Please don't kill Torgo, please don't kill him. Oh damn it, it killed Rush. Didn't want that to happen. Oh, good thing I didn't do that. Good. Wish Torgo would have counterattacked, but whatever. Can't always get what you want, I suppose. Take this, lose revenge to the face. Die! Or not. Whatever, screw you. Stupid bird. Oh, really? Freaking botch effect? Wow, Maddox. What the hell? What the hell is happening to you? You're really falling apart. Wrong team, but okay. Whatever. Toggle's team is important too. They're like the secondary attack force. Dang it. I hate this bird. 
It needs to die, like, now, today, please, anyone? Can we please kill the bird soon? That would be great. Yeah, if someone can shoot the bird in the face again and kill it off, yeah, that'd be great. It'd be really, really great. It'd make me so happy. Damn it. Wrong button. And the lag also. Okay, what the hell was that? Seriously, what? What? Why? There is no rhyme or reason that attack should have killed him. Seriously, there's just no rhyme or reason at all. I don't get it. It's stupid. Dang it too fast. Well, there went that opportunity. Oh well, we can still deal damage anyway. Hmm. What to do now? Bring them back. That would be a good idea. Actually, Rush, I'm gonna have you do something else. Protection will do great. Bring them back, Arena, please, and let's finish this up. What else is there to say about this stupid bird? It's annoying, and it's powerful, apparently. It's given me quite a bit of a run for my money, but really, it's not all that bad. It really isn't. It's just, uh, you know, kind of unexpected turns of events that don't exactly favor me. Which, well, whatever. Things like that happen sometimes. Alright, finish it, Rush. Let's do this. After a nice protection, of course. And that definitely helped a lot. Okay, really? Just using life powder and just gonna attack and miss? How dare you? How dare you miss? I should have you fired. But no, I'm not gonna fire you. Hmm, what to do, what to do? You know what? This'll work. Go on, Arena. Time to finish off this stupid bird once and for all. Or we can have someone else do it. Whatever. I don't care. We just need to finish it off soon. Because this bird is starting to really get on my nerves. Alright, well, that was nice. Ooh, so was that. Good work. Almost 20k in damage. Oh dear, acid breath. This could be painful. Yeah, that was pretty painful. Did some collateral, but whatever, that was kind of... That was kind of expected. Oh dear, Chitexia is coming. Wish we could have had bolts and used Heaven's Pierce, but nope, not quite. Can't be that nice now, can you, game? Not that. Ah, shoot! I pushed the wrong button again! Good work, good work. I don't really care. You did something and that's what I like. You know what? Lay down cover, keep your HP up. Omni Strike! Take a chance! And let's finish this. Once and for all. Let's kill the bird so we can continue on with this dungeon. Please? Anyone? We've been going on for almost 10 turns now. And damn you for dodging the attack. Alright, oh, way to go, Loki! Finally! The bird is freaking dead. Eight freaking turns, but the deed is finally done. Hmm. Too bad we didn't get any items or we didn't even capture the monster. That's lame. That is really lame. But whatever. Whatever. We're moving on. Let's head on up to the next level of the sacred land. Man, can't you hear that music? You can tell things are about to really get real here. Whoa, do you see that? 
Looks like the sacred lands are starting to fall apart. I mean, really, what the heck is the Conqueror doing to make the sacred lands the way they are? Why are they falling apart piece by piece? Well then, oh, hi there. Well, that annoying guest is done and out the way. Oh dear, we got an evil floating eyeball, and it looks like it's going to be coming at us. But I'm not going to fight it, because I don't like floating eyeballs of death. I hate those things, and they need to burn in a fire. Seriously, I think they went a little overboard with that thing. Seriously, I... Oh dear. Looks like we got an evil floating eyeball and two greater demons waiting before us. Oh dear. Whew. Okay. <laughs> well... Since they are guarding the treasure, I would try to make it like a quick getaway, but it doesn't look like we have much of a choice, but we're going to fight the evil eyeball alone. And this eyeball is Monopoly. Kind of like a Monopoly, kind of, but not really. It doesn't want to play Monopoly, it wants to smash you and ruin your day. So it's basically the same eyeball that was in the lower level, kind of. But I chose to avoid that one and fight this one instead because, well, why not? Good work, Rush. Way to dodge the first attack. Okay, good. Paralyze it. Great start. What is there to say about this evil eyeball of death? There really isn't much. It's a floating eyeball. It uses annoying attacks that just loves to just ruin your day. But apparently you can black it out, which makes it a complete joke. Great! Let's see if we can do that constantly. That would be great. Truth be told, I don't think I've fought this thing before. Maybe I have, and I just don't remember it very well. Whatever. Whatever. The thing is here, we're fighting it now, and we need to get it out of our way. Uh. Omni Strike leads revenge. Oh yeah. It is time for the greatest combo to exist. Luke's revenge and Omni Strike. Uh, oh screw you, you stupid eyeball! Take this! Die! Freaking die! You and your stupid brothers need to go away. Oh dear, X-ray vision. This can be quite painful. Or maybe it won't. Okay, good. That's good to know. At least your target is the right person. And she wasn't lined up with anyone else. Which is a great thing. Sometimes you gotta love being able to turn enemies into complete jokes. Especially really tough ones by spamming certain attacks. Well, I unfortunately do not have that kind of luxury, but really, who cares? It wouldn't be fun to make a joke out of all the enemies we faced all the time, and all day, every day, you know? It just wouldn't be, it wouldn't be fun. Have a nice pistol. Oh yeah. Good work. Hmm, what to do? A bee witch would be great. So will this heal the others and go turn number three. Hopefully this evil eyeball won't take as long as the evil bird did. I mean seriously, that evil bird took forever to kill. Ow. Okay, that was quite a pain. But that's okay. It looks like this evil eyeball has a tendency to spam x-ray vision. So I guess be on the lookout for that when you're fighting it. And be careful how many unions are surrounding it. And be careful of their placement too. Because that can spell your demise. Just like this. Or not. Okay. Thankfully x-ray vision doesn't have the widest range ever. But it does have a very good range as far as length is concerned. Oh! Thank you, Pagus. Thank you for the kiss and light. 
definitely could use the Duke of Gore again. Hello. Definitely could use him. Very, very much. Oh, sweet. We're already getting him down to critical HP status. Let's finish this here and now, or in the next turn. Omni Strike, Lose Revenge. You know what to do. You know what time it is. It's time to party. Party with the special attacks and destroy everyone and everything in our path. Ooh. Oh man. Another X-ray vision? Oh dear. You units are lined up. Kind of. But okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh dear. Here comes another X-ray vision. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ow, that was very, very painful. I hate you so much, but not as much as the evil bird. Alright. Can you finish it? Not quite. But maybe someone else will. Alright, Maddox! Maddox, you are the man, despite you doing single digit damage when it comes to regular attacks, which annoy the ever loving peace ever-loving piss out of me, but that's okay. You make up with Mystic Arts. Now, let's go ahead and fight some greater demons and call this a video after we grab the treasure. Man, that took a while, but that's alright. That's to be expected with the final dungeon. Some of the most powerful monsters in the game are here to face you, but there are even more powerful monsters waiting not too far down the road, really. Hmm, another greater demon. Let's go ahead and fight that, and then we'll call it a video. For sure this time. Man, look at this place. These sacred lands are literally falling apart all over the place. Also, fun fact, there is another glitch that occurs, like... If you happen to notice any of the pillars falling down and there's smoke coming about it when it crashes into the ground and you initiate a battle, the smoke will cover the battlefield. It's not it's not permanent and it's not gonna last very long. It's just a cosmetic thing. And nothing bad is gonna happen to you anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video recording session here and continue on next time and end this video here too. This is Daryl Snivy with Let's Play The Last Remnant. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. Next time, we're going to be finishing up this dungeon with the first thing that we're going to be doing is fighting this dragon here. And see if we can progress even further into this dungeon as soon as possible. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.